football funding deal, even though he's not happy with it. Let's show you how unhappy he was. Roll tape. I'm not happy about it. It's not doing the trick, but I'm adding things to it. And when you add whatever I have to add, uh, it's all it's all going to happen where we're going to build a beautiful, big, strong wall. That <laughs> like the way he says it. Uh, by the way, Senator Ted Cruz suggests using El Chapo's money to finance the wall. There's, what, $14 billion out there. They're looking for it, and Senator Cruz says, use it. when you find it, use it to build the wall. Congressman Roger Williams, Republican from Texas, with us now. All right, Congressman, what do you make of Senator Cruz's funding idea? Well, I think it's a good idea. I mean, for if we can get $14 billion or whatever uh, to build the wall, we can certainly save Mexico and then build the wall, right? Well, if and, you only got 3 or $4 billion, I mean, that would right. be enough to make it up to $5 billion that the president wants. No question about it. And if it's there and we can get it, I'd totally support that. How do you feel about the actual compromise deal as it's being presented, which reportedly the president will sign? Well, I, a lot of us hadn't seen it yet. We've heard about it and so forth. And I want to I want to read and see what's in it. I, I think the big thing for me is I want to make sure what I vote for and when I vote for it, that it's I'm voting for border security and not to open the government. I think there's two separate things there. So uh, I want to see what's in it. Uh, I want it to work. Nobody wants a government shutdown. Uh, We've seen President Trump take uh, Speaker Pelosi from a dollar for a wall now to 1.3 billion, almost 1.4 billion. So let's take a look at it and let's uh, let's see what's best for this country and, and border security. Would I be right in saying that as it's been presented so far, 1.3 billion for the wall, building the wall, as it's been presented, President Trump's base, his supporters, conservatives, don't like it. Well, you know, I don't think they like it in the fact that he was asking for a much larger figure, but I also think and know that the base uh, realizes he has uh, dealt in good faith. He's tried, to, he's tried to make a deal and so forth. So I think the base is going to be fine what we come up with. But like I say, the big deal for me, is this voting for border security or is this voting to open up the government? So are you leaning towards saying yes? Well, I, I, it's hard to say. I haven't really seen it all right now. I want to make something happen. Like I say, nobody wants a government shutdown. I'll take a look at it today, make my mind up, and, and, uh, and vote accordingly. Well, if the president says, yeah, I'm going to sign it, would you jump on board at that point? Well, I, I support the president. I support what he's been doing, and that would have a, you know, that would weigh large sure. in my decision, certainly. Congressman, look, thanks very much for joining us on this issue. I know it's right up to the wire here, but we appreciate yeah. you being here, sir. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Stuart. Appreciate yes, it. Uh, let's get back to your money. Looks like another positive.